So when light enters glasses, it comes to a boundary between the air and the glasses. So let's have a think about what can happen at boundaries. In the speed camera topic, we saw that when waves come to a boundary, two things can happen. We can have reflections and we can have transmission as well. So in the remainder of this video, we're going to be considering what happens to the light that is reflected. So in order to do this, we're going to be representing light as rays. So rays are small arrows like this, which show the direction the light is travelling in. So the actual wave fronts making up the light are perpendicular to the ray. So let's start by considering the law of reflection. This describes what happens when light hits a surface. Let's start by drawing a normal to the surface. A normal to the surface is a perpendicular line to the surface. And we say that the angle of reflection, which is the angle between the incoming ray and the normal, is equal to the angle of reflection, which is the reflected ray, the angle between the reflected ray and the normal. So if we represent theta i as the angle that the incoming ray makes with the normal and theta r as the angle that the reflected ray makes with the normal, then we've got theta i is equal to theta r. And this is known as the law of reflection. So I'm sure you've all looked in a mirror. Just imagine now yourself looking in a plain flat mirror. What you see when you look at that mirror is an image of yourself and it appears to you as if your image is the same distance behind the mirror as you are standing in front of the mirror. So what we're going to look at now is a technique called ray tracing that we'll be looking at in a bit more detail in this video and we can use ray tracing to describe why it is that when you look in the mirror it looks like you are actually standing behind the mirror. So let's do some ray tracing now. What we're going to consider is here is the floor. Here's a mirror. And we're going to represent you by an arrow. So we'll have your eyes here at the top of your head. Head goes a bit above the eyes but this makes it nice and simple. Okay and we're going to consider what you see when you look in the mirror and to do that we're going to do what's called ray tracing which is tracing out the paths of some of the light rays. So first of all let's consider the light rays originating from your eyes. Let's colour these ones red. So here's the light ray, it goes straight to the mirror from your eyes and then is reflected back along the same path. Now your brain doesn't actually realise that there's a mirror there and so we can dash this line backwards. Your brain thinks that this light ray which has been reflected off the mirror is actually coming from somewhere here behind the mirror. Now let's consider what happens to the light ray which reaches your eye from your feet. So let's code this light ray as a blue light ray. Now in order to get up to your eye here, it's going to have to go to the mirror and be reflected back up to your eye. And we know from the law of reflection that the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. So it's going to have to be reflected off the middle of the mirror here, halfway between your feet and your eyes. And then it is reflected back to your eyes up here. But once again, your brain does not realise that the light ray has been reflected. So it sees the light ray as travelling in a straight line towards it, and so it interprets it as coming from somewhere behind the mirror here. And let's do one more light ray. Let's consider a green point on your body here, say. Now, in order for light to reach your eyes from this point here, it's going to have to be reflected off the mirror halfway between this point and your eye. So let's draw that now. So it's going here and here. 
And again, your poor brain doesn't realize that this ray is not always traveling in a straight direction. And so it imagines it as coming from somewhere back here. And so what your brain sees is actually an image coming from behind the mirror. Here's your head, here's that green point, and here's your feet, all lined up behind the mirror. So this is the image that you see. Now in this case, we refer to this image as a virtual image because the image isn't really here. The light rays are not actually originating from here. It's just that your brain interprets the light rays as coming from here because your brain doesn't realize that the light has been reflected. 